This semester has been the most difficult six months of studying I've ever experienced. You're probably watching this video to get an idea of what it was like and how to better prepare yourself. So I will be breaking down every assignment, test, module, content and project I had to suffer through. I hope this will be helpful to you. Before we begin, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to receive instant notifications when I upload a new video. For theory of computation, the module covers topics like finite state automata, regular expressions and Turing machines. I personally found this module the most difficult out of all four. For artificial intelligence, the intro lecture reminded me why I studied computer science in the first place. I'm obsessed with science fiction novels and the fact that science fiction often serves as a manifesto for future tech. This lecture gave a breakdown of what AI is, the goals of AI, what an intelligent agent is, a brief history of AI and some uses. For graphics and modeling, the intro was similar. We explored some uses of graphics in movies, games and graphic simulations. For software dev, the intro was very vague, giving a super short explanation of why design patterns are necessary. We had a mini assignment as part of the mobile development bootcamp that was compulsory to attend over a three day period. Most of it was self learning using other online resources, but the guest teachers helped guide my intro into React Native and Expo. We were required to develop an app that solves a niche problem and uses a public external API. We were required to submit both the iOS and Android builds of our app and a demo video. Once submitted, our apps were also entered into a competition among the participants of the bootcamp. For software dev, our first prac was all theory and focused on the solid principles of software design. For AI, our first prac, we were tested on state spaces. For graphics and modeling, the first prac was an intro to OpenGL. We had to set up the necessary libraries and code editors and then write a program to draw the Sierpinski triangle. Not gonna lie, I stressed for this test because I wanted to do great for this module to validate my interest in AI, but it was really difficult, especially since the lecture videos hardly helped me understand the work. I mostly relied on other online resources. The first test covered state spaces as well as search algorithms. For our first graphics and modeling assignment, we were required to model a 3D wire man in OpenGL and animate it to rotate around the y-axis. This was absolutely daunting. I had no idea how to do this. I sat for hours reading the OpenGL documentation and grasped some understanding from YouTube tutorials. I was excited for our graphics project. We had to create a 3D game using some game engine. The game is a semester long project, but we were required to submit a concept for the lecturer to approve. I worked together with my friend and we decided to recreate a classic arcade game called Space Invaders into a 3D environment. I spent the one week holiday trying to finish up my mobile app assignment. Looking back, I realized I literally spent that entire break glued to my laptop screen and soaking up hours and hours of React Native tutorials. I had fun, but it was really stressful, not to mention my perfectionist tendencies make me want to go beyond what I'm required to do or what I'm even capable of doing. On top of that, when I'm working on something I'm interested in, I get hyper fixated on it and sometimes even forget to eat and stuff. So I try to take regular breaks in between and decompress mentally by painting and making some art or spending time in my garden. I enjoyed the first software dev test. It was all theory, but I found design patterns quite interesting. We were tested on solid principles, design thinking, some UML and user, face, user interface design. This module was much more palatable than the other modules. By far, Comp 304 had the most difficult assignment in the entire degree, in my opinion. For our first assignment, we had to solve a problem called the Moore Traversal Problem using the search algorithm that the user enters. We could use either Python or Java to code the problem and then submit an executable file. 
The first graphics and modeling test was easier than I was expecting it to be, definitely still challenging and heavily math oriented. We were tested on 2D and 3D transformations where all the second year linear algebra started to click in my brain. There were also some theory questions about the graphics pipeline. The first theory of computation test was a very difficult test for me and it was only the surface reveal of what the content had in store. I really struggled with proofs and theorems in general. The concepts are also very abstract like regular expressions and finite state automata. The stress levels and anxiety are definitely sky high by the time November arrived. I had so many things due and there didn't seem to be an end to it. Looking back, it's actually almost funny. It was funnier when we were randomly assigned to three strangers to work on our first Comp 314 assignment together. I usually like working alone or with someone I know, but getting thrown into the stress with other people I have never even met before was a plot twist nobody asked for. It was definitely an entire challenge on its own trying to get to know my group members while everything was still online. I felt more confident working on my second AI assignment. I was really interested in genetics while studying bio in school and I had no idea such a thing like genetic programming existed. For this assignment, we had to solve a delivery truck problem where there are certain limitations about the weight and number of boxes each truck in a business can deliver. We had to represent this problem with a chromosome and use a genetic algorithm to find a generation in which the solution lies. I remember the first two weeks of November being filled with Zoom calls for all the pro group projects we had going on. My partner and I worked on our game entirely online using Unity's collaboration feature. In hindsight, I'm actually in awe at the way we worked and worked on this game to be able to submit a prototype on time. We submitted just one level to show the concept and gameplay. The presentations were done over a Zoom call. The third and final AI test was a three hour long test and covered the entire module's content. It felt more like an exam disguised as a test. And I stressed so much about it because again, I really wanted to do good. I was confident about the logic and search algorithm sections, but I struggled with the neural network section a lot. I gave it my best. Even though the stress was still high, I could feel the semester coming to an end because the test 2s were coming up and going by. I personally struggled with the graphics test 2 because of all the algorithms we had to learn and implement. Many, many algorithms for rasterization, clipping and transforming images made me all the more graceful for game engines like Unity who do all that work so that game developers can feel free to focus their creativity. I received a late night email from my lecturer to see that I came out second place in the mobile app competition. I was not expecting my rookie little app to even make it in the top 10, but I guess my hyperfixation on React Native during the holidays really paid off. I presented my final 3D game project one morning over a Zoom call while still in my pajamas. The meeting was over three hours and I got to see the other awesome games my classmates created. I thought they were all amazing and I felt like playing all of the games. At this point, I was kinda oriented with the random strangers who became my group members. So assignment two went a lot more smoothly. It was very complicated like this entire module. Thankfully, I had the great group members and we got through it. I was already imagining what my long holiday break would look like when this entire semester was over but before that there was just one more project due our software dev mobile analytics dashboard i had no idea what a dashboard even was my group members and i did tons of research and over several zoom meetings finally had the project done we kept the project centralized in a google drive and then submitted both the source code and a demo video the gap between finishing a semester and waiting for results is definitely the worst because I suffer from anxiety and these whispering voices in my mind keep telling me that I failed my modules, that I failed my tests, I disappointed my parents, that I'm a fraud and actually suck at programming. These are the kind of cute stuff that went through my mind endlessly during the time before the results arrived. 
I try to de-stress by drawing and painting and gardening. I am so excited and relieved that I survived through this year. It was definitely the toughest year I've ever experienced. My mental health really suffered trying to pass all my modules and meet all my deadlines. I also ended up starting this YouTube channel and trying to post consistently and engage with my art community on Instagram and YouTube. To say I feel relieved is a huge understatement. It feels like finishing matric all over again. I'm super excited for my future plans. Thank you for making it through this video with me. I hope it was helpful to you. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll be posting much more often from now on. Stay inspired friends. Until next time.